guys, we're still here at Jollof Vegas and I'm with Praise of Oso oh Nutrition. Hi. Hi Praise, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Great, great. Awesome. So, tell me real quick, what is Oso oh Nutrition? So, Oso oh is a whole food and healthy beverage company. Basically, we're trying to, we're targeting people that are basically their life on the go, but are trying to eat healthier and live better. Basically, we made a special quinoa jollof for them. So, quinoa jollof for this event and stir fry. Now, I'm with the wonderful people of the Burgundy Stove, Victoria and Hash and their assistant Daniel. We made jambalaya. Okay. We made a fusion between jambalaya and and jollof. Okay. Which is a, basically a jollof from Louisiana. Okay. Perhaps where jollof actually came from when they started uh, substituting oats with, with, with rice. Oh, right? okay. And so what we have in there is uh, we've got some uh, sausage, shredded chicken. It's got a really nice earthy Oyster flavor. Oyster. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. And sadly, I'm gonna show you guys. This is what this is what Jalof has done to my jambalaya, and my dirty rice. Okay, Louisiana it's cooking gone, all gone, all gone. Even I can't get a taste of it now. Polemi and Ozaz have dragged me down to Mo's for a reason. We believe that she's one of the best. Okay, yeah. So they dragged me down to Mo's place just to have jollof rice. So Mo, how are you doing first of all? Firewood jollof rice. Firewood. It's not just your normal neighborhood jollof. Yeah, it's fancy jollof rice. Yeah. It's the jollof festival, so the theme is to have jollof rice, definitely. And what we do, what we specialize in is firewood jollof rice, so we decided to do that with smoked stew, turkey, and then we have our most special, it's so good, that combo is amazing. Asu with firewood jollof rice. Woo! No. It's lit! This is proper firewood jollof rice. I'm going to definitely have some more. I can tell you that flavor is not about the preservatives. Flavor is basically about the ingredients you put into your food. I think people need to work on basically getting the best out of each flavor. So if you're going to get like a pepper mix, find a way to get the ripest peppers, find a way to get the ripest, the best tomatoes, to get the best onions. Grill them if you have to. Right. Blend that and cook it. It tastes better. All occasions. Okay, you got to try the sweet tea. Tell me, this is our Texas sweet tea. Okay. Tell hey me guys. About the sweetest tea you ever okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, this is heaven. This is heaven right here. <laughs>